Hello esteemed judges, I'm Sam Gupta, I'm 13 years old and I study in Springdale School Dholakwa. I'm also an official Guinness record holder for the youngest computer programmer in the world and I also have my own startup where I give coding classes to children. And today I'm here to pitch my idea brighter, smarter and greener streets with piezoelectric sensors. The problem statement. Traditional street lighting uses a lot of energy and is expensive to maintain. Our solution to this problem is smart street lighting, which uses piezoelectric sensors to power lights and reduce energy consumption. Piezoelectric sensors installed on roads generate electricity when vehicles pass over them. This electricity can power street lights, reducing energy costs. This solution also helps to reduce carbon emissions by utilizing clean energy. How it exactly works? Piezoelectric sensors work by converting mechanical stress or pressure into electrical signals. Now we are going to learn about the piezoelectric effect and how it all works. The piezoelectric effect is the ability of certain materials such as crystals or ceramics to generate an electric charge in response to applied mechanical stress. When a force or pressure is applied to the piezoelectric material, it deforms slightly causing a displacement of electric charges within the material. This displacement generates a voltage difference across the material which can be measured which can be used by an external electrical circuit. Now let's dive into the exact mechanism of how it all works. When you press down on the sensor, you are working against quite a stiff spring so that all the work you do is stored as potential energy in the compressed spring. And in front of that spring is a tiny hammer so that when the mechanism finally gives way and the spring is released, all that potential energy stored in the spring is converted into kinetic energy in the hammer. The hammer then strikes a special crystal called piezoelectric crystal. <coughs> when it hits the crystal, it generates a voltage across the crystal. Two wires come off the crystal and draw the voltage to the street lights. Now, let me tell you about the most commonly used piezoelectric crystal. Quartz was the first piezoelectric crystal to ever be discovered. To get the piezoelectric effect, we must obtain the slice of quartz just at the correct angle. Quartz is made of silicon dioxide. Costing and effectiveness of piezoelectric sens sensors The cost of piezoelectric sensors can vary depending on their size, sensitivity, and the complexity of the electronic circuitry used to read their signals. Generally, the larger and more sensitive the sensor, the more expensive it is likely to be. Piezoelectric sensors can range in price from a few dollars for small, basic sensors to several hundred dollars for large, highly accurate sensors. Small sensors can generate just a few millivolts while larger sensors can generate several volts. Taking all the points in consideration like maintenance, installation, etc., electricity in India costs around 6 to 7 rupees per unit, according to a survey in 2018. Electricity generated from pesos cost around 5 to 5.5 rupees per unit. Note that these figures may vary from country to country and region to region and they are likely to go down as piezoelectric energy will be more common in the future. Is piezoelectric energy actually better than? Carbon em energy is a non-renewable energy source, meaning that it is finite and will eventually run out. Piezoelectric energy, on the other hand, is a renewable energy source as it is generated through the natural movement and vibrations of objects, 
So, if we don't see the downsides and the pollution caused by carbon energy, we still can't completely rely on carbon energy as it will eventually run out one or the other day. That's why we need to prepare for the future now and I think piezoelectric energy will be a good solution. The environmental impact of carbon energy is significant as the burning of fossil fuels releases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, contributing to climate change. Piezoelectric energy, on the other hand, is a clean and sustainable energy source that produces no emissions or pollutants. Carbon energy requires significant infrastructure and resources to extract, transport and process the fuel, while piezoelectric energy can be harnessed from existing objects and structures without the need for additional resources. So overall, as compared to carbon energy, piezoelectric energy is a renewable, clean and cheap source of energy. So esteemed judges, join us in the mission to reduce the carbon footprint on Earth and move to a greener Earth. Thank you for your time and considering my innovative idea.